Okay, let's look at rotational and point symmetries. Here in this example, it's asking, do the figures below have rotational symmetry? Do they have point symmetry? It also asks that if a figure has rotational symmetry, give the smallest angle of rotation needed for the figure to appear unmoved. Alright, so that means we've got two things to check, rotational symmetry and point symmetry for two different shapes. Two questions for each. If one of them's yes, we need to enter an angle. So let's look closely at some definitions of rotational symmetry and point symmetry. First, understand rotational symmetry. A figure has rotational symmetry if it can be rotated about some point by some angle less than 360 degrees and appear unmoved. Let's take a look at, ex at an example. So here's uh, a shape and let's just decide to rotate it about the center and see what happens. So if we rotate it ever so slightly about the center, notice that after one-third of a turn or 120 degrees it looks exactly the same. That means it's it looks unmoved. So therefore it does have rotational symmetry. So for a figure that has rotational symmetry we've got to make note of the smallest angle at which it appears unmoved. So if you notice we have to rotate this around. If we rotated a third turn or 120 degrees, then it looks the same. So that smallest angle of rotation needed is 120. We'll need to put that in our answer. Now let's look at the definition of point symmetry. So we can see here that point symmetry uh, is exists when a figure can be rotated 180 degrees about some point, doesn't matter which point, and appear unmoved. So if we look here at our original shape, if you just turn it upside down, then it doesn't look the same, right? It originally looked sort of like this. Those are not the same. So this does not have point symmetry. Okay, continuing on with the next shape, now we notice that uh, we can rotate this figure a quarter turn about its center and it appears unmoved. So that means that it does have rotational symmetry and if it has rotational symmetry then we have to figure out the uh, minimum angle that it looks unmoved and so you notice that quarter turn is a 90 degrees so our minimum angle is 90 degrees. And finally for the uh, the second check for the second figure we notice that we can turn two turns of 90 degrees which is a 180 and it appears unmoved so a 180 turn makes it appear unmoved so that means that it does have point symmetry. So after a fair amount of check checking on both parts of both figures, here's our answer. Rotational symmetry is yes with an angle of 120, point symmetry no, rotational and symmetry finally for yes, the, and point uh, symmetry the second yes. check for the second figure, we notice that we can turn two turns of 90 degrees which is a 180 and it appears unmoved. So a 180 turn makes it appear unmoved so that means that it does have point symmetry.